Welcome to our CA Football 12 Teams in 12 Days Season Preview. Today, we take a look at the William & Mary Tribe, and nobody better than to break down the tribe to the legendary, if I play voice in his 40th season, Jay Colley. Hello, Jay. Rob, it's uh, great to see you. And uh, yeah, it's hard to believe 40 years is uh, upon me, but uh, I'm looking forward to this season, you know, as much as I did year one, I'll say this, and uh, a lot of things to be excited about in Williamsburg. Well, before we talk about this fall, let's look back on last spring. Tribe only got three games in, but uh, it, it had a lot of injuries during that time. So the roster was much different than what we'll see this fall. But is there anything that they could take away from last spring that you think will be a benefit going into the fall? Absolutely. I mean, I looked at it as a, a glorified spring ball. It felt like that, you know, no fans in the stands, the games not knowing if you're going to play until a couple of days before. Um, so I looked at it as a glorified spring ball. I don't take, you know, I'm not certainly not uh, uh, representing the coaching staff here, but uh, you, you, you played three games as opposed to an inner squad game. So that's, that's pretty good. You, you learned a lot about you know, who can play, who can't play, how you handle pressure. They were real games. They counted, as Coach London said. So every game you want to win. Uh, but I, I feel like it was a very uh, uh, beneficial uh, spring spring practice for William and Mary. Let's start with a look at the offense and, and some of those guys that we talked about that really didn't see saw either limited action or no action at all in the spring among the skill guys. Certainly talented quarterback in Hollis Mathis. Got a nice look at Malachi Emo, uh, Zach Burdick, Kane Everson. So there's some talent there. But one area that we won't have any question about that I know everybody in Williamsburg is excited about is that offensive line, which is filled with a lot of experienced guys. Well, you, you stole my thunder there, but you, when you know, I've been around football for a lot of years with coach, uh, coaches uh, chattering in my ear and all of them say the offensive line is, is where it's at. It, it's where it begins. If you've got a good, solid offensive line. So going back to, to this squad, um, there are no fewer than seven six-year veterans on this team. Didn't lose anybody on the offensive side, starting-wise. Didn't lose anybody on the defensive side. And you mentioned that offensive line, Colby Sorsdahl. Uh, Dan Evers, uh, Ryan Ripley, uh, Andrew Trainer, all CAA uh, candidate. Uh, those are the strength of this team. Not only are there backups that that are very capable as well, but these guys have played together. And um, uh, a little bit of uh, the uh, synchronized swimming aspect. Now that we're in the Olympics, it's it's something something similar to that. I think the longer they play, the longer they work hard together, uh, the better they become. And, and that's where it starts for the tribe this year. Looking at the defense, certainly uh, some familiar names on that side. And the defense played pretty well in, in, in the uh, this, this spring season. But Will Kiley up front, uh, the return of Trey Watkins, who's the leading tackler in, in 2019. Give us a, you know, sort of your preview on the defense and some of the guys to watch out for. Well, defensive coordinator Vincent Brown, um, he, he, he'll he gather your attention. So I think he has the attention of that defensive squad. And again, like the offensive side of the football, and I know one of the things we're going to be going over today is is are the strengths of William and Mary and the prospects of William and Mary and when you have the offensive line that, that's the strength and the defensive line that that is the strength it I think it bodes well you got Will Kiley who's an all-CA candidate you got Zyquan uh, Bassan who's made tremendous strides a five foot ten 290 pounder uh, he's a, a spark plug in there uh, he's, got, he's got good speed he's improved with that this year he was named the captain and you get, then you got Carl Fowler uh, on the defensive end as well. And Carl is a true leader, not only on this football team, but at this university and many things that uh, he endeavors in. He's in law school and, and he's just doing a great job. Um, uh, he's out of Durham, North Carolina. And with so with Kylie Basson and, and Fowler on that front defensive line, it should give a real opening for a talented bunch of linebackers to uh, to rack up some some tackles on any given Saturday. Um, Trey Watkins and Tyler Chris. The Tyler is an interesting story. He started out as a fullback, for goodness sakes, and, and ran hard. Uh, and so now he's running hard on the defensive side, and he has a nose for the football, a nose for that quarterback. And so with those two linebackers, I think the Tribe's got a real good uh, front core, if you will, with the defensive line and the linebackers. Let's touch a little bit just on, on, on the special teams. And I think the first name that jumps out to anybody that watched William and Mary play is Bronson Yoder. Such a, a chance to take one back, it seems like, any time he touches the ball. Just talk about some of the specialists and return guys. Well, Bronson is the guy you got to start and end with. I mean, Bronson led 
uh, broke to Jonathan Grimes, the great Jonathan Grimes record for uh, uh, kickoff returns his freshman year a couple of years ago. So he's the threat, whether he's uh, uh, doing punt returns. I think he's all CA candidate and uh, preseason candidate for, for, for that, uh, uh, for those accolades and kickoff returns clearly, but he also plays safety. So he's on the field a lot. Um, no concern there. Bronson's a great athlete. And then uh, Ethan Chang is the uh, uh, place kicker. And, and Ethan has got a very strong leg, 40 yards in, very accurate. So I think the Tribe uh, is good at that special teams as well. With that momentum and the experience that you've talked about, then uh, talk about, in your mind, what are the keys for the Tribe to have? Successful well, season. I think Hollis Mathis, you know, you uh, what, what team doesn't uh, want a good, healthy quarterback? Hollis obviously was injured last spring. He had some uh, 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 surgery. Uh, they claim he's throwing the football very well. We'll certainly see. Uh, but if he can't uh, answer the bell on round one, which is the UVA game uh, early in uh, September, uh, a guy named Chase Hart uh, got the strongest, they reportedly have the strongest arm on the team, and a couple of transfers, one from Arizona, uh, a transfer named Kevin uh, Doyle and a, a one from Lafayette, who was a starting quarterback in the Tribe Place Lafayette early in the season. Uh, uh, Cola Northrop uh, will probably get a chance. But I think it certainly doesn't all hang on the quarterback because I do believe the Tribe's got that front line that can open up some holes for guys like uh, Malakaimo. And they've got some good receivers. Uh, Zach Burdick coming back. Um, he was at one time one of the leading uh, uh, catchers in the country in terms of yards per catch so he's got that big he's a big threat uh, a play depth uh, a threat as it were so a lot, lot of uh, intangibles on this team as well it, they had 70 men stay back this summer for workouts you, you say the strengths you know that i think the 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 opportunity to kind of uh expose the opposition's weakness will be uh at hand for william mary this year all right, Jay, thanks so much for taking time with us. Help us break down the tribe, and uh, we certainly look forward to catching up with you as the season goes along. Go tribe. All right, thanks, Jay.